Goodness, did somebody accidentally leave the heating on overnight again? It's all hot and steamy here at Triple Jump Towers. It has become something of a tradition each Valentine's Day for us at Team Triple Jump to give you a rundown of all of the most handsome gents in gaming from the past 12 months, and you'll be pleased to know that this year is no different. There was a smorgasbord of video game releases in 2023, and many were chock-a-block with tasty man-meat for us to feast our eyes upon. But which beefcake ended up being the beefiest, the cakiest? I think it's about time we found out, don't you? You might be wondering why we've only got 10 hunky boys for you this year rather than the usual 15. Well, times are tough, cause he lives and all that, so we're tightening our hunky belts. Don't worry though, there are still plenty of sexy lads to go around. Get those cold showers running and think of England, because I'm Ben. I'm Peter. And I'm Ashton from Triple Jump, and here are the 10 hunkiest video game boys 2023 to 24. Number 10. King Kong Skull Island Rise of Kong Last year, the whole world went crazy over the idea of having sex with a bear, but why settle for a man that turns into a big furry mammal when you can just have a big furry mammal instead? Skull Island Rise of Kong wasn't, shall we say, the best game of 2023, but it did, in our humble opinion, at least have its virtues. The big, sexy gorilla, that's the virtue. King Kong has been around for the better part of a century, but don't let his age put you off, because this enormous monkey's still got plenty of mileage in him. Communication might be a little tricky, after all, we're human and he's sort of not, but none of that will matter when things get a bit animalistic. Sex, I mean, I'm talking about sex. Muscle-bound, hairy, and boasting more cake than a bakery, oh, would you look at those buns. You guys can keep your bear banging, because for me, it's all about the monkey business. Honestly, I think Skull Island Rise of Kong would have definitely done far better with reviewers if it had allowed players to smash the gorilla, but hey, what do I know? Number 9. Luis Serra, Resident Evil 4 now before we get into this one, no, I don't know if Las Plagas can be sexually transmitted, but honestly, after laying eyes on the sensuous Louise Serra in the Resident Evil 4 remake, I'm not really sure I care. When players first meet this Spanish stallion at the end of chapter 1, he's a little, shall we say, tied up? Ropes don't exactly seem to be his forte, but it's clear that he knows his way around a chain or two, so we don't have to completely rule out BDSM. Now, cards on the table, we can't guarantee that this leather-clad Lothario won't scarper come the morn, but having seen how those those fast fingers handle a lighter, we could probably forgive him. Besides, even if he skips out on you before breakfast, you just know he'll be back again with a cheeky quip to make you forget all about his previous abandonment. Hey, that was my dance. He's probably not the most reliable of hunky boys, but he'll always be around to save the day when you need him most. And that, dear viewers, is what I call true loyalty. So you better not stab him in the back, okay? Oh, what? Cut. Sue me. Too soon, huh? Number 8. Red. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. There are a number of things you need in a relationship. Trust, love, chemistry. A head, though? Mm. Not a prerequisite in my opinion, as our next entry nicely proves. This decapitated hottie skated his way into our lives in the summertime, and oh my, it wasn't just the weather that was fine. Proficient on a skateboard, Red is the skater boy we've been dreaming of ever since we were tweens listening to Avril Lavigne. He may have some trouble staying on the right side of the law, but Red just wants what's best for his friends and the city of New Amsterdam, and we can't be mad at him for that. And you know that if we ever get into any kind of legal scrap, he and his friends will be right there to save you and stick it to the man on your behalf. He's also a creative type, expressing himself through the art of graffiti, so he'll always be able to come up with exciting ideas for dates. He might not bring any head to the relationship, but I'm sure that won't stand in the way of any, if you know what I'm saying. Banksy? More like sticking this guy in the in the wanksy Banksy. Oh, regrettable. Peter? Number 7. Solomon Reed, Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty. If you'd have asked us a few years ago if we thought it possible for CD Projekt Red to come up with as hunky of a bloke as Johnny Silverhand, we'd have told you, no, absolutely not, get out of here with your crazy talk. It turns out, however, that we'd have been wrong, because those cool cats and kittens have only gone and delivered another serving of beefcake, and we'd even venture that Solomon Reed has old Silverhand beat in the sexy steaks, by virtue of being one sexy steak himself. 
Steak is pretty much a synonym for beefcake, isn't it? Now, as we've said several times in these lists over the years, we just love a leather-clad daddy. And this year, they didn't come much more leather-clad or daddy than the trench coat-wearing, gun-toting Reed. Cybernetically enhanced, cool as hell, and with a voice as smooth as butter, there's no one we'd rather spend the night city with and snuggle up to after a long day of dealing with ripper dogs and hackers. Plus, have you seen his car? So much space in the back. Perfect for, you know, <laughs> trips to Ikea to buy furniture for our new apartment together. Why, what were you thinking we'd be doing on the back seat, huh? Number six, Alan Wake, Alan Wake 2. This is the second time that Alan Wake has appeared in one of these lists, but if you thought he was hot in Alan Wake Remastered, just wait until you see how he's looking in the sequel. Oofed. Since we last saw him, our boy Alan has been through some stuff. But I've gotta say, if being trapped in the dark place for 13 years does that to a guy, then sign me the hell up. There's clearly something in the water down there. Sporting a more rugged look than the last time we saw him, Alan is newly returned to the real world, and it's highly likely that he needs to, uh, make up for lost time. After all, I doubt there were that many hotties where he's been stuck. Yes, he might have a little bit of trauma to overcome, but who doesn't have baggage? Besides, if there's one thing that'll take his mind off the supernatural, it's getting down to something that's oh-so-natural, if you, uh, catch my drift. Sex. Again, we're, we're talking about sex here. Plus, with the power to turn fiction into reality through his writings, Things will never get boring in the bedroom. Fifty Shades of Wake, anyone? Oh, yes please. Number 5. Zangief, Street Fighter 6 There are some who believe that when dressing, it's best to leave something to the imagination. But here at Team Triple Jump, we prefer it when our romantic interests show as much skin as possible so we can reserve our imaginations for other, more boring things. As such, we are huge fans of Street Fighter's Zangief and his, should we say, minimalist wardrobe. Admittedly, he is wearing more clothes in 2023 Street Fighter VI than usual, and we do miss the red hot pants, but there's still plenty of flesh on show. And I've gotta say, we are big fans of the skin-tight wrestling bottoms. With muscles on his muscles, Zangief really is one of the beefiest lads around, and though he's more known for pounding his opponents in a fight, we'd like to think that he's adept at another sort of pounding as well. Witness my full might! I am coming! <laughs> An added bonus is that this furry fella's abundance of body hair means he's always going to be warm and toasty, which is perfect for all of those cold Slavic nights. Suffice it to say, he can give us a spinning pile driver anytime. I hope he keeps the boots on while he does, though, because I'm about to knock him. Number 4. Mouth of Sauron, The Lord of the Rings, Gollum Everybody loves a bad boy, don't they? But oh my god, are they a lot of work. Always busy holding meetings about the latest diabolical schemes, trying to take over the world. Never any time for you. This is why, this Valentine's Day, you should ditch the big bad evil guy and go out with one of their minions instead. And who better than a minion who's literally got mouth in their name? I wonder what that mouth do? In the extended edition of Return of the King, the mouth of Sauron is a detestable git with a dental hygiene problem that quickly gets his ass handed to him by Aragorn. But in undisputed Game of the Year contender The Lord of the Rings Gollum, he's had something of a glow up. He's a bit of an unconventional dresser, adorned with a variety of piercings and robes decorated with what looks like human teeth, but we admire a sartorial gent with his own style. Yes, he's the most devoted servant of a guy who wants to usher in an age of darkness, but hey, we've all got our flaws. Plus, I'm sure that with a little love, he could become our most devoted servant instead. Number three, Elephant Mario, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Don't get us wrong, standard Mario is a beaut. I mean, just look at that cake. Hate to see him leave, love to see him walk away. Anyway, 
regular old Mario is off the subject of our sexy dreams, but you know what's even hotter than human Mario? That's right, Elephant Mario. In October 2023, just as the days were getting shorter and the nights were starting to get colder, Nintendo kindly bestowed upon us a new hunky man to dream about snuggling up to. In Super Mario Bros. Wonder, that sexy little Italian plumber gains the ability to transform himself into an elephant, all whilst retaining his dashing red and blue outfit and sensuous moustache. Now, you might think that elephants don't have a lot to offer in the bedroom, but that's where you'd be wrong, because not only can that trunk both suck and blow, but they are, should we say, some of the better endowed members of the animal kingdom. In short, if you're planning a date with Elephant Mario, then make sure you've got a couple of days booked off afterwards. Ain't no way in hell you're gonna be walking straight. Number 2. Dave. Dave the Diver. To the untrained eye, Dave of Dave the Diver fame might seem like an unassuming guy. He's content to go diving a couple of times a day, do favours for people in his local community, and run his sushi restaurant at night. But when you're a connoisseur of hunks like we are, you might just appreciate Dave for the stud muffin he truly is. Firstly, he's a successful entrepreneur, so you know that he's rolling in enough Benjamins to take care of your every material need. Second, he's a simple man, so you can be sure that as long as he gets to dive and run his restaurant, he's not going to go looking for greener pastures. Finally, did we mention he runs a sushi restaurant? With free oysters for life, you know that Dave's bedroom is gonna be a rockin'. Others might have flashy cars or rippling muscles, but there's no one we'd rather cozy up to with a glass of sake and a few California rolls after a long day at sea than this dad bod having goatee sporting hunk. I wonder if he's good at other kinds of diving too, if you know what I mean. Number 1. Astarian, Baldur's Gate 3 You probably thought we were going to pick the bear, didn't you? Well, we don't like to be predictable here at Team Triple Jump, plus we prefer our boys to have a little more bite. And who's got more bite than a literal vampire? Players first meet Astarian towards the beginning of Baldur's Gate 3, when he attempts to overpower them by holding a knife to their neck. Thankfully, this dashing young chap is easily swayed by flattering words, so it won't be long before he's joined your party and is sassing his way into your heart and perhaps other places too. Silver-tongued, a snappy dresser, and extremely proficient at the old sleight of hand, there's no better way to pass those long, cold nights in camp than with this pale-skinned beaut. Karlak might be hotter, literally, Minsk might be beefier, and Gale might have the power Power to bang you in space, but we just can't resist his debonair fop and his roguish charms. Oh, and did we mention that bod? Someone's clearly been hitting the gym between blood guzzling sessions. Fwoo! Will you wake up in the middle of the night to find him sucking on your neck? Possibly, but if you ask him nicely, he might be able to put that sucking to good use elsewhere. 